What's going on guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial. I know it's been long overdue, but uh, I've been struggling to find some good topics to cover in Python. But uh, today I think I found one. I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, working with a GUI, a GUI, graphical, uni graphical user interface, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a GUI, just because GUI is uh, the easiest to say and the, fun the most fun to say. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the programming. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to import pretty much everything from tkinter, which are, you know, the modules that we're going to be using to run this GUI, and tkinter, from tkinter, sorry, import, and then we're going to put an asterisk, that just means import all, there's really no reason to not import all, um, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Now there is one thing that I want to point out, if you're running any Python, uh, two point something. Make sure that your T is capital. Um, and also, if you're running two point something Python, I recommend that you upgrade to three point something. Uh, three point three point five, which is what I'm using, is the most recent. And uh, obviously, I, I recommend using the most recent uh, Python. And uh, let's keep going. So, first thing we need to do is we need to obviously make our window. So we're going to name it, I'm going to name mine Rengen, um, and then we're going to go, oh actually we don't need the dot, sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, Rengen equals TK parentheses, now it's going to be a capital T and a lowercase k, and then a uh, pair of parentheses. Now basically what we're doing, I guess you could kind of say it's like a variable, or we're setting a variable, but uh, I mean technically you could argue that we are, but it's a little bit different. And let's go ahead and actually work with this. So the way we're going to do that is Rengen, or whatever the name of your window is, Rengen.geometry. And this is actually going to set the size for us. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put parentheses and then quotes, and then just the resolution or size of our window that we want it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 500 by 300. So you're just going to go 500 x 300. So your basic resolution is pretty simple. Engine dot geomet geometry parentheses quotes 500 by 300 and then let's go ahead and run this and as you can see in Python shell all we have here are the three arrows I mean really nothing's going to be going into the shell that you're going to see so um, if you don't see any red here you're doing things right uh, so here's our window that we created it is 500 by 300. I mean, obviously, we can adjust the size. Oops, I missed. Obviously, we can adjust this. Oh, I missed again. <laughs> obviously, we can adjust the size, but uh, that is the, the starting size of our window. So let's go ahead and close that. And actually, wait, hold on. I, I closed it a little bit too early. One thing I wanted to point out, the title of this window is TK. I mean, obviously, it's not the most attractive title or the most descriptive title. So let's go ahead and change that. So. Again, we're going to be using our Rengen window, so Rengen dot title, pretty simple, and then parentheses as well as quotes, and Rengen dot title. Let's just name it Rengen's GUI. Now I'm not using a per, an apostrophe s there because it will kind of mess up with the quotes. Um, let's go ahead and run that. Take baby steps, and of course Rengen's GUI or GUI, and. We've changed the size, we've changed the title, and then one last thing that I want to do today is to basically just introduce main loop. Main loop is pretty important because what it does is your program, obviously when you run it, it's going to open up the window and it's going to load everything and all your buttons. Say you have buttons on your window. Did I close my window? Yeah, I did. Let me open it back up. Alright. So say you have buttons or something. When you first open your window, obviously it's going to load all the buttons against load everything, but it's going to stop there. After it's done loading everything, your program's going to stop, similar to what it, it's done here. So in this program that we've written so far, all it's going to do is make a, a window that's geometry is 500 by 300, and the title is Rengen GUI, and then it's going to stop. There's nothing else that it needs to do if we don't have a main loop. Now, if we do have main loop, say we have buttons and other things, it's going to be constantly checking for input and constantly be looking to do something with that input. And without that, we're just going to have a dead box that looks 
as cool as we programmed it. <laughs> um, so that's why it's pretty important, and uh, it's pretty essential, actually. And that's going to be it for this episode. I don't want to get into anything too complicated just yet. Maybe in uh, a couple episodes coming down the road. Maybe even next episode. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching.